So let's look at getting into factoring again. So our first example says factor completely. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 5x. So if we look at our best factoring practices, the first sheet that was on the packet, the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor. So we're going to look at our three terms, see if there's anything that we can factor out. It looks like there's an x that we can pull out. So x cubed, if we factor out an x, we have x squared minus 4x squared. Factor out an x, we have 4x minus 5x. Factor out an x, we have 5. So we have three terms, trinomial. So using our factoring best practices sheet, um, we have three terms. It goes x squared x, and then there's no x. So we're going to use our x to factor it. So remember, this is a times c up here, and b goes down here. Um, this is our a, b, and c. So there's an imaginary 1 here. So we have 1 times negative 5, which gives us negative 5, and our b value is negative 4. So we need factors of negative 5 that equal negative 4. So 5 factors of negative 5. So that would be 5 and 1. Um, we need it to total negative 4. So that means we need to put a negative 5 here. So bring down your x. And then do two sets of parentheses. And we have x minus 5, x plus 1. 